Hi, I'm Dave Zinn with the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center. And one of the things you may have noticed in our early season fall bulletins is we keep telling folks to get out and practice with their rescue equipment before you get out in the field. So today what I wanted to do is just run over what we're talking about. So right now I'm at Southside Park here in Bozeman. We're gonna bury a couple beacons and we're gonna just see how our equipment's working and re-familiarize ourselves with our gear. So what I have here is just a couple of extra beacons with me. I'm gonna be using these to search. I've got them in Tupperwares because I don't want to get wet or damaged during this process. I've just replaced the batteries for the season, so we're all set to go there. They are on and transmitting. Now, of course, it's best if you come out here with a friend and have them hide beacons, and you can put, play a little beacon hide and seek with each other. Uh, but for me, this will do well. It'll help me re-familiarize myself with the, with the tools, and I'm looking forward to getting started here. So let's go. All right, I've got my first signal. So reorient, get myself lined up. Make that number get smaller. Follow in the arrow. When I hit about 10 meters, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Okay, and here I'm gonna get down close to the ground. And do my grid pattern search. And not surprisingly, under this lump of snow is my low number. So dig that one up. And rather than turning it off, I'm just gonna play with my marking function. Check that one out. And line up, go for the next beacon. Again, slow down. I'm looking for that low number. And again, not surprisingly, under this lump of snow right there. All right, so there you have it. Just a quick beacon drill here. We really recommend getting out and practicing these a lot. Right now, when we have no snow on the ground or just minimal snow on the ground, it's not a very realistic search. So once there's more snow or you're up in the mountains, we want folks to practice another beacon drill or two or four or five, but have those beacons buried deeper under the snow so it's more realistic the pinpoint search becomes much harder. And at that point, you're able to use your probe and your shovel to really finish off the system. 